How to calculate the sample size for randomized controlled trials. Formulas for sample size calculation differ depending on the type of study design and the study's outcome. The calculations in this video are particularly of interest in the design of randomized controlled trials RCT. An example of how to calculate sample size using the simplest formulas for a randomized controlled trial, comparing two groups of equal size is given in the following example. Suppose one wished to study the effect of a new hypertensive medicine on systolic blood pressure, measured in MMHG, as a continuous outcome. The simplest formula for a continuous outcome and equal sample sizes in both groups assuming alpha equals 0.05 and power equals 0.80, beta equals 0.20, therefore, 1 beta equals 0.8. The formula for this will be n equals where mu1 equals population mean in treatment group 1, mu2 equals population mean in treatment group 2. Mu1 minus Mu2 equals the difference the investigator wishes to detect. Sigma2 equals population variance, SD. AA equals conventional multiplier for alpha, when alpha is 0.05. B equals conventional multiplier for power, when beta is 0.80. When the significance level alpha is chosen at 0.05, one should enter the value 1.96 for A in the formula. Similarly, when beta is chosen at 0.20, the value 0.842 should be filled in for B in the formula. Suppose the investigators consider a difference in systolic blood pressure of 15 mm of mercury between the treated and the control group, mu1, mu2, as clinically relevant, and specified that such an effect should be detected with 80% power, which is 0.80, and a significance level alpha of 0.05. Past experience with similar experiments, with similar measuring methods, and with similar subjects, suggests that the data will be approximately normally distributed with a standard deviation of 20 mm of mercury. Now we have all of the specifications needed for determining sample size using the approach as summarized in our formula. Entering the values in the formula yields. N equals. Computing this together will give us 27.9. This means that a sample size of 28 subjects per group is needed to answer the research question in our example. This is how you calculate the sample size for randomized controlled trials. Leave your questions in the comment box below. Subscribe to this channel for more educational videos like this. Cheers!